Welcome back to part two of Moving Out. <laughs> Oh, Nalu. Nalu, here. Nalu, come. <laughs> Nalu? No, Nalu. Are, no, is she far. good, bro? Oh, Why is she my. Good <laughs> Parking sleigh. You guys should have seen how I would have parked that. I was born to be a truck driver. You did great. Thank you. Okay, that was easier. My hallways are so tight that we have to come into the main bedroom and then, like, go around. Because if not, it doesn't fit. Alex Claire to the rescue. Oh! Yay! <laughs> it's also a little outfit check. I'm wearing this guest shirt. It's actually so fun. I got it in Japan at... It was in a vintage guest store. Like the only thing they sold were the original styles of guests, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like the vintage styles, but they're new, which I thought was so cool. I've been really into like bloomers. Like, I don't know what these are. These are like men's boxers, but very cute and feminine. And then I thrifted these little hunter boots, which I thought were so cute. And I thrifted them such a long time ago. And now they're coming back. I feel like Ramona Beezus when I wear this. You've never seen that? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Hold on. It's Ramona and Beezus. This movie with Selena Gomez, it was like actually my favorite movie ever. No. You weird child. Literally no. You weird child. Okay, so these are the built-ins that I brought in from Ikea. So I'm gonna hire our handyman to disassemble everything again. We have all these bags left. We have a few things in there. This is kind of like a mess, but those are shoes and bags. And then this clothing rack. I have an iPod Nano. This is such a crazy one. That's like a Louis Vuitton lipstick that I was gifted. It's just so dramatic. Oh, my blue light glasses. I thought I lost them. Oh, look. Do you like these? I feel like these are so you. Danny just gives me anything she doesn't want. Oh my god. Everything, all these big glasses fit you so well. I like big glasses. Not working out. Do you want this? So tiny. I like love it. <laughs> you look great. I love this color. It's literally a box. Look at it. It's by Nick Bentel and I collabed with him and I made my own stickers. It says like handle with care. I'm fragile. It has a little lamp, a little cake, a little bow. And I also made like this little like postage sticker. I've been looking at these in her closet for a long time. Like why have you not put them on? I have too much clothes. I own a vintage clothing store, so it's like, if I didn't have this many clothes, it wouldn't right. make any sense. All right, this is the last clothing rack we have left. I have another one that we could build, but I feel like it's probably not necessary. The rest is just in bags, and we'll just put it maybe like in a little cart or something. Nalu just <laughs> follows us everywhere. Your emotional support is amazing. It's like she wants to help, but she literally cannot, so she'll just be there. <laughs> Alejandro, what are you doing? Alex is also becoming a YouTuber. <laughs> Look at his setup. That's crazy. <laughs> you pretty much pushed me out of the way. Oh. Alex is the fucking host. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I know. This is huge. But like, we're in this, like, the like, too. The racks are just gonna be like. I think the saddest part of it all, also my house being like the freaking coolest house I've ever seen in my entire life, the neighborhood is so good. It's one of the best neighborhoods in all of Miami, and it's also one of the most expensive. So the fact that I lived here was so crazy. But I'll live here in the future. I just got the taste of like my future for a little bit. Wearing these rain boots in the heat, my calves are sweating. Like my legs are actually dripping. I'm so used to this heat because it went to like elementary and middle school here. And during recess, like we'd go out in this heat and we'd be wearing hoodies. So I'm like immune Bro, to the your heat now. Classrooms must have smelled disgusting. <laughs> Today was. A success. Alex getting the van happened for a reason because I feel like we wouldn't have done anything today. So the fact that we got almost the entire closet out already is great. Okay, I think this might be one of the last batches we put in the truck. That's not gonna be in his house, guys. Look. Oh my, like, do you guys remember how we started? Day one is halfway finished. Fellows, 
Charles over there, he's been organizing his house and making space for me to put my stuff. So he's probably super overwhelmed and stressed as well. first round. This is the room we're working with. It's honestly a huge closet. Like I couldn't have asked for a bigger closet. Our bag is just socks. I don't understand how I can have this many socks. It doesn't make any sense. have to leave both of these clothing racks here to actually make this fit but i cannot believe this is my entire closet and i can't believe it fit in here that's crazy <laughs> i woke up today and i realized like how many things are going on in my life so i'm so overwhelmed but like it's not like a bad overwhelming feeling like i'm not complaining but i'm like what the hell like we're doing so much what are you talking about <laughs> next week we go to new york did you know that? that's why <laughs> That's why I'm overwhelmed. What day are we leaving to New York? Fuck, I forgot you're going to Yosemite. So I'm a little stressed with social media. Plus I have my firm going on. So I have Euphoria Collective and we have a bunch of design projects going on. We have one in Kuwait. We have another one in New York right now. It's Andy Clark's birthday. So we're going to Yosemite. So I have like personal trips as well as work trips. Today we're sorting through all the kitchen stuff that I have. I love her. Okay, so we're choosing what silverware I want to keep. This is gold. This is like penny. Ew. It probably just grosses me out because it looks like a penny. So I don't like eating from this color silverware. And then we have silver. Those are so trendy and now all my silver is like that. Wait, and really? Yeah. It like, grosses me out. It looks like a penny. I don't want to be eating out of penny. Yeah. Well, actually, I feel like then I, you put it in the dishwasher and it just strips the... It like comes off? Yeah. It makes me think, oh, that must be coming out into my body. Like, Ew. I don't like that at all, actually. Yeah, Nalu has no idea what's going on. She suffers from major anxiety. And so every time I go on a trip, she gets really sick. It's actually really sad. She actually just puked in my car. So maybe that's why she puked. That happens every time I go on a trip because she sees me packing. Now she's seeing me pack the entire house and she must be so confused because she has no idea what's going on. She's like, she's leaving me for good. This is Ali. Viva Ali. Hola. Hola. <laughs> she's literally the best. She helps me with everything. <laughs> Ali is from Mexico and we bond because I'm Mexican too and she cooks so good. She makes the best food ever. And she's literally my God because she helps me with everything around the house. I could not live without her. Me entiendes? No entendí nada de lo que dije. <laughs> Estoy diciendo que me ayudas demasiado y que cocinas muy rico porque eres mexicana. <laughs> like this is brand new. Like it still has the freaking tag. I haven't used it. We're sorting through my cups and plates now. Also my hydro flask obsession. I have so many of these. This is my favorite plate I own. It has a little house in the middle. So when you put your cereal in here, it looks like the house is like in the middle of the lake. I have a crown bowl. I have weird things around my house mostly because of my collabs or PR that I get sent. So this was from the Tricks collab as well, but she's gonna go. So I'm gonna make a pile of stuff we're keeping and stuff we are not keeping. These are all my funky plates that we're taking. We have a cowboy hat and a cow. Then we have a set of four of this dog on a plate. And I think these are my favorite plates in the entire world. They're from Anthropology. Are you kidding me? These make a table so much funner. And then we have a bigger version of that plate. They're all different colors. I'm very eclectic when it comes to dinnerware. So all my plates don't match, but they match at the same time. I love a little mismatching moment when I'm hosting or setting up a dinner table. Like why are you gonna have a plate like this when you can have something that looks like this? I thrifted these with my best friend and she has half of the set. It's giving like retro diner. 60s vibes and I love them. I found the second one that goes with this one. I don't know why I have these to be honest. Then I have these which are so funny. They're like kid plates so you can separate your food which is amazing because I'm a picky eater and I love it when my food isn't such but obviously I don't really use these. I think it's time to let them go. These are so fun and we've used them for birthday parties or every time we host but I feel like they don't match my style anymore so I'm not gonna keep these. There's nothing I hate more than a squared plate. Don't ask me why, <laughs> like, 
Plates should be circled. They should be not squared. Bro, I grew up with these plates, which is probably why I hate them so much. No. We have these Halloween plates, which are honestly kind of fun, but they're a little too dark for me, so they're gonna stay. These are fun and I love them very much, but they're too small. Like they're not functional for me because when I'm drinking tea, I'll drink like a big glass of tea. So these are gonna stay here. This was one of the first funky mugs I ever bought. Everyone's freaking me out about these thrifted mugs because everyone is saying that they have lead in them and it's really toxic for you and really bad. So, but I can't let go of this one. Guys, look at this mug. It's a little bunny village. <laughs> I love this one. So I think I'm gonna keep her. These are pretty basic, so I'm gonna let this one go. This Lego mug is so cute, but she's too small. If she was bigger, I would keep her. But like, that's too small. Another Lego mug. I'll keep this one. It gets too hot to hold this because it's so thin that they're not really that convenient. They're just cool. All of this is staying. I think I'm gonna leave these. Like they're cute. They look like the other ones, but this one has a cooler shape and this one's like more of a basic shape. So I might as well just take the cooler shapes. How cute are these? These are from Anthropology too. These are an absolute yes. Alex actually made jello in these and it looks so artsy and cool. I only have two of these, but for like a little bit of champagne, even though I don't drink, it's so cute. Alex wants these. <laughs> They're like little Ikea striped cups. These are like the set to the smaller ones that Alex made jello with. Oh my God. We are done. This is everything I'm leaving. And this is everything I'm taking. That's everything you're leaving? Yeah. In the world. And there's more on the other side. <laughs> Alex is now checking everything he wants to take home. I'm keeping this. Uh, like cool cups to make matcha. In. So this. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I'm obviously taking these. Like it has little flowers and little checkers. It's really cute. So we're taking these. This is where I keep the fun stuff. We have this plate. It's like a painting plate tray thing. I have a major corn obsession and I actually use this all the time to eat my corn. So yes, Bella and I made this at Color Me Mine and it's a little cupcake. It has our initials inside and it would be really sad not to take it. So I'm taking it. I never know what to do with Legos when they break. Like it's basically impossible to get them back to how they were. Like do you genuinely feel like, oh my God, I absolutely love this. No. Then, then like it's saying that I'm gonna get so many more vases in my life and so if I don't absolutely love this, it's staying, so. And she makes a point, it's staying. I'm only trying to take the things I absolutely love. My most prized possession, I've actually never used it because I'm so scared that it's gonna break. I should maybe start using it because then what's the point? But these are so rare to find, it's a little, Cool bowl. Like literally the guy's about to dive in. It comes with this little bowl and they're like chilling inside the little jacuzzi. And like how cute is that? And she will be in my family through generations. Like my kids will pass this down to their children. This popcorn set is so cool, but I'm not gonna take it. Bello is currently taking pictures of my house. I never really got professional pictures of how I decorated this place. And if I'm moving out, I need pictures. One for the memories and two for my website because this is literally another project I decorated. He's shooting that little corner and then we're gonna do this living room and then the other living room. Also, Bello only shoots on film. They always end up looking super cool, but it does suck like a little bit because you can't really see like what you're shooting. But I don't care because he knows what he's doing and they always come out amazing, like even better than digital. Like we do not do digital pictures in this household. My living room has never looked better and I'm literally moving out. <laughs> I'm so sad, like how good does this look? got this Dr. Seuss book and I still have not opened it. I got it a few months ago. This is gonna sound weird, but he's one of my favorite artists. I think he might have gotten canceled. I don't know, but his art is just so cool. Dr. Seuss was like my favorite growing up. I always loved his books and the colors and stuff like made me so happy. The movie Lorax is exactly how my dreams look like. <laughs> this book is The Secrets of the Deep. It's actually his art that like never really came out because it was dark. I feel like most people haven't seen this type of art inside of Dr. Seuss, which I thought was really cool. Like how cool is that? 
I love it. I love it so much. So these are some other books I just got. I got another David Hockney book. He is my favorite artist and this is actually his digital art. Yoshitomo Nara, another one of my favorite artists. Like actually, my dream is to own one of his original pieces and I will one day, like I will one day. And then an egg book. We love her, she's cute. Okay, so everything in this room is coming with me. I've decided that all of these are like my favorite pieces that I own. So this is coming with me. More blankets that I'm not taking. This was a sample for my decor line, but I'm not keeping her. <laughs> Look at my setup right now, this is so funny. <laughs> and in here is everything I'm not keeping as well. There's <laughs> so much. For example, I have these sample pillows that were supposed to be my home decor line, but I ended up changing the design. And like I have a bunch of blankets and like pillows and fun stuff um, that I'm not keeping because I have too much. So I'm gonna go around my house collecting all the art pieces that I'm not gonna keep. These unfortunately are not coming with me. Oh God, that was so dusty. I'm gonna keep her. I'm not keeping her. I am keeping that one. I'm a little bit exhausted, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna like organize and pack everything. Today, Bella took all the pictures that I needed, so now we're sadly gonna start taking down all the art and start painting and everything, so. If you guys are liking my channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave me comments if you have questions, what you guys wanna see on here. And yeah, I love you guys, bye.